Put it out the coop in the lot. Put it for a 12 for a swat. Pussing all the bells out the box. Hit the leaf with the box. Had to put the stick in the box. What's up guys, hope everyone's having a wonderful day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a full center back specific session. So I'm going to be showing you guys some drills that are going to be more meant for defenders, specifically center back players. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. The first bit of it is going to be just some, you know, basic technical work, just warming up. First starting off with some one touch passing, then going on into some two touch passing, and then moving on into some driven passes, and then ending in the passing with some long balls and i think it's very important for especially center back players to be very good at distributing the ball to have a very solid touch especially in the back you have to be solid you can't make mistakes and all your passes have to be precise you know anyone who watches van dyke knows that he can ping a ball across the field so precisely and that's something that i want to get will really good at and it's something that every player should get good at so if you're a defender or a center back specifically get really good at p playing ping balls with both feet and i promise you it's going to really help you and it's going to make you stand out so i hope you guys enjoy this video if you want to skip over the highlights of us passing and go right to the game specific drills that we have for you i'll have it down below in the timestamps so you can go right to it so i'll see you guys in a little bit So this is the first drill that we're going to be doing and this is a great reaction drill working on preventing those through ball passes being played in behind. So this drill is great for center backs, CDMs, and even strikers. So this is also great for working on that lateral quickness, being able to shift side to side for preventing that ball being played through. So in this drill it's very easy, you're going to have one person with all the balls, one person is going to be working preventing the balls from going through, and another person standing behind the guy trying to create space so that the passer can find him. So this makes it a little bit more game realistic because there's always going to be someone who might be behind you trying to make a run in behind and it makes this drill a little bit more fun. So, you know, do this for five to 10 minutes and then you can move on to the next drill. The next drill that we're going to be doing are 1v1s from an angle and this is one of the best and most game realistic drills for both defenders and attackers. All you're going to do is you're going to set up one soccer ball on a cone and the attacker is going to try to knock it over. The defender, of course, is going to try to prevent that. This is just such a, an amazing drill to do because as a defender, you're going to have to prevent players from beating you. And this is one of the most game realistic drills to do. Another variation you could do are 2v1s. And this is great for defenders because there's going to be moments in games where you're going to have to slow down plays with two attackers. So, you know, getting the defender used to, you know, taking taking on two attackers is a great way for them to improve their game so the final defender drill right here is working on goal line clearances so you're going to sprint back pedal back 
prevent a ball from being played over the top, and then you're going to try to prevent a second ball being played into the goal. You're going to repeat that for three to five times and take a two minute break. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please leave a like and comment down below if you plan on using any of these drills into your next session. And I hope everyone has a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah. Ride around the scene with a stick all black. Try with a stoker, we win.